CRBI is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Our mission is to protect, preserve, and restore North America's most biologically diverse river basin. We do that by educating and empowering citizens to get involved in protecting our rivers. We have four program areas, advocacy, education, water monitoring, and restoration. During the past year, we've educated almost 3,000 school children about our water. We've removed about 20,000 pounds of trash from our rivers and streams through several cleanup efforts. We also do water monitoring, where we train citizens to collect stream data and determine the health of those streams through chemical and biological water monitoring. Then we also do a lot of work in the advocacy arena. We lobby down at the state capitol. We review applications for environmental permits for land-disturbing activities uh, to make sure that projects are not going to harm our rivers and streams, are not going to damage wetlands. So what a lot of people don't realize is that the Upper Coosa is a very special place. It is the most biologically diverse river basin in all of North America. We have 30 endemic aquatic species, crayfish, snails, mussels, and fish that are found nowhere else in the world but right here in northwest Georgia and northeast Alabama. So we live in kind of an epicenter of biological diversity right in our backyards. And so we have a lot at stake here in the Upper Coosa. There's a lot lot of critters that are, are imperiled and endangered. But these rivers that house and are home to all these special critters also provide us with drinking water. It is the drinking water source for about a million people that live in the Upper Coosa River. River basin. So in protecting our rivers and streams, we're not just protecting the critters that live in them, but we're also protecting the water that we drink. At CRBI, our business is clean water. And one of the big reasons, aside from the fact that we're trying to protect these critters and protect our drinking water sources, is that we have fun in these rivers. We swim in them, we fish in them, we ski on them, paddle down them. That connection is really key to what we do. When we get people out on our rivers through some of our paddle trips and some of our other events, then we make those connections and we start that relationship, that personal relationship with the river. And when we have that, then we have river stewards. And those river stewards are much more likely to help us fight for clean water. And that is our mission.